Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to my channel. I'm Chandra Lynn and this is going to be a general energy reading for you from Source Energy, Universal Energy, Spirit, however it resonates with you. It's going to be like your energy and then I'm going to do some cards for the energies happening around and that seems to be kind of half and half like there's been some kind of like with other readings of it really going into detail about the energies around you or really going into detail about how to understand the energies going on around you and how you're moving through it so <clears throat> however However, source is bringing it up for you. Please remember that it is general, so take it how it resonates with you in your life and your situations and your experiences. Disregard the rest, and we will. So I am picking up on this, like, um, set your sights higher, stargazer, set your, and sun, enjoy success and happiness. It's not really, so two cards came out for you. They're really not making any sense to me, especially with what I was just going to say, and I'm finishing saying now would be that there seems to be energies coming up um, of bringing up uh, bringing up energies that you're just kind of like oh yeah oh yeah do and I it's it's like something something happens and it brings up a, like this energy this contrasting energy and it's like you're being aware, like, say yes or say no to it, right? And then there seems to be that nervousness. I hope this is making sense. Ooh. She Wolf, Unleash the Wild Within, is on the bottom of this deck. Okay, so Taurus, what I'm picking up is there's this... Um, I don't, oh, how do I, ex, like, how do I explain this energy? There seems to be an occurrence that happens, and it kind of stops you in your tracks, and you look at it, and you're like, no, I say no to this energy. And it comes completely different than what it normally comes to you, but somehow you recognize it, right? You recognize it. Um, something about it makes you recognize that maybe... That's where this is coming in. Set your sights higher. Maybe there's more. Maybe there's more to you than what you thought because whatever this energy that happened, it seems like it became aware to you. You're like, it's almost like you didn't recognize that this she wolf was you, but due to whatever this thing that happened, it's kind of got you thinking, and you don't even know what this entails, but you're just like, I might just run for it. And it's going to be very successful. I don't know, you're going to be happy as hell doing it, too. Let's get some more cards really quick. Wow, that was my thing. So, set your sights higher, enjoy success and happiness. Unleash the wild within. So what's been being held back? Why has it been being held back? Has it been... Um, what are you saying? 
Because I'm saying he's not going to use that to look at the sun. It's going to hurt his eyes. Inner journey in the new position. Okay, so something about this she-wolf. All right, in this inner journey, it's almost like you have gotten into the habit and the pattern of constantly going within to check with yourself. Okay, like that seems like a whole new kind of like level to like level of wisdom. So whatever you set your sights higher on, it's got you really excited. It's got this whole new holy shit, I'm this badass she-wolf kind of energy. And if you look at it from like a child's perspective, like, oh, I want to go play. Let me go ask mom and dad if I can go play or let me go ask mom or dad if I can play, right? It's that child going to that other um, authoritative figure. But now... And somehow in in your life in some way that that still transferred over somehow. It was like you were always needing to go to some authority figure to get permission to do yada, 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 whatever the hell it was. All right. But something has happened because I'm being shown a clear habitual pattern. First things first. Let me go within and talk to myself. How do I like this? How do I feel about this? What do I want from this? What can we get from this? Is it even worth my time? Kind of energy. That's really kind of powerful. Okay. I'll take these two and that one, I guess, huh? All right. Ooh, omens 31. Movement into balance. Okay, so this omen speaking of something else and it's speaking on an intuitive on an intuitive level. Very intuitive. Okay, so If you're here in this, ooh, holy crap, movement into balance and then transformation, that's kind of a badass. And it's all good. Is on the bottom of the deck. Sucky light. It's sucky light. These cards are really beautiful, you guys. That sucky lighting makes it where you can't see them, but they're very beautiful. Okay. Okay, so yeah, very esoteric here. So, Taurus. Tor, yeah. You, you've really put a lot of focus on you. Like your internal work. Getting, getting you right. Getting you balanced. Along the way, you have been kind of getting kind of given like little glimpses, little visions, kind of little energy pushes that told you like, um, I want to say it was for you, like where you were guided to go was for you, but it was guided for you in the sense like, leave that energy alone, do this instead, because this energy will take care of itself. It was almost like an attack. Kind of an energy i'm being shown that like somebody trying to force you to fight somebody trying to force you into battle somebody trying to force you into engage in in this energy because they felt like if they used brute force or if they like literally had it thrown in your face um that you would still interact you would still um this energy felt like this energy believed that it had the ability to control you 100%, whether you wanted to or not. It's It was used to the old energy of always being able to force somebody to have to interact in this opposition, in the verses, in the, um, in the energy. 
but something like uh, you just kind of allowed yourself to be guided by your guides and your angels and everything completely away from that. So it was almost like you would have this attack coming at you or have this attack on you. And somehow you were still able to hear the guides and the messages and the benevolence and the love of saying, just keep walking. No harm will come. Like, look at how hard they are trying. Like, look at how hard this energy is trying to be destructive. And it's just like, not that it wasn't like hurtful in the feelings and the emotions kind of sense, like, oh, jackass, that's not nice kind of energy. And it's not nice, but when it came to you, like, it was almost like you were listening to that intuition that said, you know what? These weak-ass bitches can't do any damage. They can hurt your feelings, but they can't do any damn damage, right? And there was this kind of, there was this kind of, I don't know, it wasn't like a payoff. It wasn't like, if you do it this way, this is what's going to happen. It was literally, if you have faith and you trust and you keep walking and have no, uh, engagement into any attacks or any affronts or any wrongdoings you just let it bounce back to them in a sense and it was it was almost like you were shown like they will everything that they are attempting to do do to you to get you to stop to get you to interact to get you you know to play along in their game it was just going to accumulate and pile up it was like uh setting up their own traps that's where this omens card is coming in right not a negative sense for you because you have made it this first natural thing you do is check in with yourself right that's absolutely beautiful these oh now these omens although they are beautiful for you it's not like for those that are in the opposition energy that's how it gets delivered to them these omens are going to be a sign for you. They are going to be almost like, you know, um, checkpoints or not check. Checkpoints does sound kind of accurate, actually, but it's not like you're starting this race and you got to hit these these checkpoints. It's almost like you have been on this race and you're these and you were told ahead of time like these omens were your checkpoints okay but these omens were really kind of like um as these attacks were coming in and you're hearing this intuitive message of just you know just keep going don't pay any attention to it allow it to bounce right off of you kind of energy because watch it'll it's gonna like it bounces right off you and it, and it knocks them the fuck out kind of energy those are the checkpoints these seeing energy being delivered back to its source is a checkpoint that's all this is you have great omens coming to you it's what do you put out there is what's coming in for you. So when you start seeing people get hit with their own damn balls and get knocked the fuck out, that's a that's for you to understand that you made it to this checkpoint without intentionally interacting in that low negative energy and everybody just got what they deserve. Somebody got knocked the fuck out, you got a cup of OJ. All right, now we're moving into your west into your wisdom position this is the movement into balance and if you like you got the star you got the moon but this is what i'm talking about right here these if you can see i'm trying to find a good place to see it but i can't okay anyways the three spirals talks to me about really great balance within your mind, your soul, and your body, right? Like, oh, look at how great, like there's no spitting up or anything. So there is this new movement coming in. Um, in a sense, I also want to say that there is going to be this shedding. You might feel, and you're going to have the intuition, it's going to be right there. So this should be a really good confirmation. If you're still here and this is resonating for you, this message, this internal message of this shedding of purging 
you know, more because it's almost like you had to make it to these checkpoints and it's like, congratulations, you get to take off all those bags. And so you're like dropping them and then you're moving. You're continuously moving on because, well, you know, there's there's more cool shit for you still to come. So as you're moving, you no longer have these bags. So it's a transformation that is is going to be taking place and that is what I'm being told is really going to feel a little bit odd right you might also feel like you're having to slow down and if you feel like you're on a race like no there is you're meant to slow down like if you if you um if you feel like you're on a race and you've got like this this focus right pinpoint focus but you're feeling this movement into balance and this transformation coming on. So you're feeling this alchemy change. You're feeling this purging. You're feeling this shedding going on. And if you've got that focus, you might be thinking like, oh, no, something's wrong because I'm, I'm slowing down. It's not working right or yada, yada, yada. Nope, you're good. You don't need to run. You don't need to be fast. It is not a race. It felt like a race before because, well, you were in the in the position of constantly going in and changing how you did things, right? But now it's almost like there's no need to rush. You're not trying to outbeat balls that are being thrown at you. Remember, those balls came back and hit those motherfuckers and knocked them the fuck out. So kind of take down that single vision and kind of look around. Because if you're going through this transformation process and you're doing a lot of shedding and a lot of purging, then it's going to look like a spa around you. Like, look around. There's probably lounge chairs. You want a, you want a cup of lemonade? Like, what do you want? Like, what do you want? You can have it all. This next part is about allowing yourself to take whatever energy and time you need to pamper yourself and relax. And that's kind of what I'm showing. It's like you thought you were going to keep running or jogging or hiking, you know. Like, oh, I've got 150 more miles to hike up these mountains. And it's like, no, because once you made it through that narrow little canyon, it opened up and you're now at a luxury spa resort and that's where like you need to go in because there is a reservation under your name like they're expecting you they already got your lemonade on ice and they're waiting to see what they're waiting to see okay thank you Ooh. so we got the god of risk I don't know where he's going yet. Ooh. This is talking about that resort. This allegiances, this alliance. Okay. Let me keep going because I don't know. That feels like it's going right there. Uh, so this energy is going to be coming in really quick. This allegiance energy. It, energy is going to be coming in really quick oh that feels like a risk because it's different it's different like you might somehow think that I don't know it's almost like you get to the metaphorically speaking luxurious spa resort and um you might be thinking like how am I supposed to pay for this I don't I don't I don't like that and it's like, no, um, oh, it's almost like you don't even want to go up to the desk because you're worried that they're going to be like, okay, what credit card are we going to keep on file for that? Ooh, what does that mean? She got tribe, the tribe. Holy crap, no, okay, so 
this is talking about that resort. So these two are the same thing. You, this, your tribe has already been in a state of observance. It's almost, okay, so they're, ooh, like if you could take a deep breath and trust, ooh, smoke signals, communication, purification. Purification sounds about right, too, and communication. Okay. It's on the bottom of the deck. Endurance. So this endurance card, the only real thing that this endurance card is speaking about is are you able to allow, like, are you, keep your, like, you have the endurance to fight through that fight and fight or flight of wanting to keep hiking. It's almost like, um, I don't know. It's something to do with self-worth. Like, whatever this is, I really hope that this makes sense to you because it, it feels like it makes sense to me, but it feels quantified. Like I took it everywhere. Um, it's all good. And I want to say that wherever it is that you're, like, where whatever this, like, luxurious resort is for you, you're going to recognize it when you see it, right? And then you're going to feel like, holy crap, I can't afford this, or how am I supposed to pay for this? And um, it's almost like that's where this endurance card is coming in, because all you got to do is breathe. It's going to take a lot of, it's almost like you have to reassure yourself, like, Let's just go ahead and go up and ask and see what's what's what and what's going on. I belong here like everybody else belongs here. I'm worthy of this. Like let's let's just let's just see what's going on kind of energy. That is where this big like that is what I'm feeling is the big push is once you see the resort, it's going to be an automatic believing that you're supposed to bypass it. But you're not supposed to bypass it. You've got your own suite and it's waiting for you. It, it's check-in time. Like, you know, they're, they're waiting. Like somebody's on the lookout waiting to see when you come walking up. That way somebody can put your favorite cookies in the oven. So that way they're ready for you when you get up to the reception desk. That's, that's what I'm picking up, Taurus. And I, I'm going to, We'll pull, I'm going to pull a couple of these just to get a little bit of clarity for that. But this will, like, however, thank you, um, this resort, this tribe, this allegiance, it's already spotted you. Like, remember, you were in the middle of this walking stage. Don't attack, don't attack. But it doesn't mean that there wasn't observers or onlookers seeing just how you were blocking everything out or blocking away those attacks change purpose and be fearless be fearless and accept accept it think of yourself as a spiritual trust fund baby and daddy's got you covered. I'm going to leave it at that, Taurus, because I feel like I'm, I might, you know, take it even further out for you. And I want to bring it back in. I hope this brought clarity and understanding. And thank you so much for being here if you're still here with me. And I love you guys. And I'll see you later.